Welcome to summer 2007. This is flooding on a scale no one here can remember. It's rainfall of a month in just one night. The rain keeps coming, and so will the renewed threat of flooding. Today has officially been the hottest day of the year so For far. Once, the brollies are being used as parasols, and even the indoor attractions are happy. The snowfall here was the worst for 25 Thousands years. Thousands of school shops. We've had hundreds of lorries stuck on weather forecasters. Of course, things will get worse here before they get better. Our unique weather is all to do with our position on the planet. The whole of the United Kingdom just so happens to be slap bang under the place where four colossal air masses meet. Now, an air mass is an enormous lump of our atmosphere. At the surface, it's the same temperature and the same humidity over thousands of square miles. When different air masses meet, they fight for supremacy, and the one that wins dictates our weather. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let the battle commence. Imagine, if you will, that these guys are what the weather boffins call the polar air mass, invading our skies from the north bringing freezing Arctic air, sending temperatures plummeting across the UK. But before you've had the chance to put the heating on, here comes the tropical air mass blazing a trail from the south, delivering warm air from places such as North Africa and the Med. And when they clash, we get a weather front. Now, there are a lot of places in the world that sit under where the tropical air mass and the polar air mass meet. But the UK is extra special because it also sits between a large ocean, that's the Atlantic to the west, and a large land mass, that's Europe and Asia, to the east. And that makes our weather even more chaotic and a bit more angry. The maritime air mass, these chaps in the blue T-shirts, suck up billions of litres of moisture from the Atlantic Ocean, then travels east to dump torrential rain on our barbecues. Finally, to the rescue comes the continental air mass, cruising across the dry land of Europe and Asia, ready to go to war with the cold, wet front. In a bit, to give us a warm, sunny day. But that is not the whole story, because you've yet to meet the big daddy of British weather. The jet stream, and that can overpower all of those guys. It's a monumental wind that can fly across the sky at 250 miles an hour. <laughs> Powerful and determined, if the jet stream heads north, it blocks the polar and maritime air masses. And it's party time for the tropical and continental air masses, now free to smother us in warmth and sunshine. Well, thanks to the jet stream, we enjoyed the hottest summer on record back in 2006. We had 18 weeks of uninterrupted sun. Even Northern Ireland and Scotland had a decent summer. But as you'd expect, it's not always good news. If the jet stream decides to head south, pushing back the warm, dry front, we're in for more familiar, wet and chilly conditions. And that, in a nutshell, is why we have our British weather. It's unpredictable, it's crazy, it's bonkers. But it's ours, and deep down, secretly, we love it.